<laughs> Alrighty, back to it. My call wasn't even... It got disconnected anyway. But I did take the chance to go and get more drinks. So that's nice. I think I read this before my phone started ringing. And do you get self-conscious about your bust size, Jill? Not really, I've been more self-conscious about my height. Although it usually comes up whenever not being average height hinders me somehow. What about you? Yes and no? It's not my bust size, but rather I look too manly sometimes. Well, it would definitely help people make the distinction, but you're clearly female anyway. You're fine, don't worry. Yeah, what she said. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Do you have something non-alcoholic? Uh, we'll go with frothy water. You're not one to drink that much alcohol, are you? It makes me feel sleepy, or at the very least, it makes my legs go numb. It's an annoying feeling, to be honest. It makes me wonder what's so good about getting drunk. I mean, I'm not above it, but it's not exactly a pleasant feeling. You feel like you're sleepy even when you're not. Your legs go numb, everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. <laughs> What's so good about not being able to control yourself? That's a good question, actually. Usually people like feeling numb because then numbness helps them forget their problems. Even if we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food. Or who are suffering some pain that only alleviates when drunk or high. <laughs> It doesn't really sound logical on paper, but then again, humans are rarely, if ever, logical creatures. Fair enough statement there. Despair and pain cloud your judgment and make you do stupid things sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've seen that firsthand. Oh. This world has an ugly side no one deserves to be a part of. Mm-hmm. It's also a matter of addiction, you know? You start just liking the drink, but then you need more of it, and before you know it, you're hooked. Oh yeah, that too. So tell me, what kind of party are you guys throwing? Nothing fancy, it'd just be me, boss, Gil, and a couple of regulars. They'll bring food, we'll chat for a while, and that's it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning madness Stella is throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, let me know, you hear? Sure. Hey, Sai. Yeah? What do you plan on doing now? I'm gonna check one last errand before going home. No, I mean, what do you plan on doing now with the White Knights disbanded and all? To be honest, I don't know. I never prepared a plan B because I figured if you can go with a plan B, why not just make it the plan A? <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college, or even high school. Oh, really? I could go for a position with the police, but it wouldn't be as thrilling. And I'm tired of blatant corruption. Sick of it. Oh. But I'm alive. Hmm? I learned something after that in the Apollo Trust ba Bank. Life is not something that you can just throw away easily. Clawing my way out of that place made me realize just how much I want to be alive. The body count I left in the bank is ridiculous, but I'm still here. Or body count left. I almost made that sound really bad for her. Like, she killed all of the people. That is not true. But I'm still here. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive and I'll figure it out sooner or later. That's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Jill. Good luck with the party. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, Mr. Detective. Oh, him again? 
George from Seinfeld. Give me a strong drink, won't you? Alright. Something strong for Mr. Detective. Something manly, perhaps? And load it up on the Karma Trine, because he wants it to be strong. Ah, interruptions all day today. Can't get anything done. Alright, so I was in the middle of making a crevice spike, and I forgot to let it blend. Ah, sad face. You know, maybe it's because I check out into the like, conversations more than I pay attention to the music when the first few seconds go by, but I like this part of all systems go. There we go. Here you go. This will do. So what brought you here? Nothing special. Happened to be working on a case. Uh, they're working on a case, just happened to be in the area. Tracking someone, a gun for hire. Jamie? What about the girl? Crimson something? I am tracking that girl. Didn't you just get out of that job? I did, but the guy offered a huge amount of money, and well, let's just say I couldn't refuse again. Well, it's your life, not mine. I wonder though, there has to be more to the whole thing than acting as a middleman to look for some murder. Murderer, I mean, hmm. Say, how safe is this place? We're protected by the BTC property laws and the walls are soundproof. And I couldn't care about selling info, info to anyone else. Or anyone. Okay, then wait, soundproof walls? Why? Because the city is noisy. Did you see those vending machines outside? They're quite talkative. <laughs> and it'd, it'd be annoying without those walls. Alright then. Have you heard of Lord Lance Lavender? Um... Now maybe this is just because of Lavender Town being a Pokemon area and Lance being the dragon guy in the Elite Four, but I felt like that was a reference somehow. Also, excellent alliteration there, that is fun. Nope. Uh, he's from... Kane... Kenyavania? Whatever. His blood apparently has some weird reaction to the Glitch City's nanomachines. Once in contact with the air, it does nothing. But it's still fresh and fresh in someone <laughs> fresh and touching someone's blood. The nano machines will initiate a reaction. Essentially, they'll just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing. Ow! No, dude just has like a flesh-eating virus. They're using him as a guinea pig to see what could be the cause of the rea reaction and if it could be used to fight nano machine rejection. Uh huh. Well, turns out Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left after years ago to earn her living here and hasn't seen her, and he hasn't seen her ever since. He could be lying, you know. That is, I did my research. She really is his daughter. Why did she figure that out earlier? I had no clues who was making up the contract, and all the tracking, and tracking all the messages to the source could have been too costly. Knowing who the sender was made things easier. I see. Can I get you anything else? What about Cobalt Velvet? Alrighty. Cobalt Velvet. One. Uh, oh, well. That works. Five Karma Tribe. Ta-da! 
Oh yeah, I always forget that that's the one that comes in the weird cup. Here you are. You actually did it. Were you expecting... What were you expecting? No. So what made you accept the contract anyway, keeping in mind all the risks you told me about last time? He told me he wanted to see her again one last time, or at the very least to deliver her a message. The Lavender sent their regards. You could have been lying. Yes, people lie. You made your point. Even then, I feel like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know what it's like not being able to find your daughter. What it's like to be apart from her, not knowing what she's doing, or even if she's alright. You do. I have a daughter. She's about your age. Oh, no. Is he... When she was a teen, we had a big fight and she ran away from home. At first, I just waited for her to show up. Then I started getting worried and went out to find her. I couldn't find any trace of her. Uh, that's how he went, baby, because... His last name was something that I can't seem to remember, but I... do remember it being not anything else we've heard. Soon I was worried that something might have happened to her. I guess that's how my tracking skills and list of contacts began to grow. I finally found her, taking cover in some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. So yeah, I just couldn't say no to his request of finding his daughter. But I don't expect you to understand. So how's the search going? I'm very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at covering her tracks. Compared to her from before the bank incident, though, she seems slower somehow. Either she's let her guard down or something else is happening. What will you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. I don't know what it says and I don't want to find out. What if she tries to kill you? I might not look like it, but I can take care of myself, bartender. You don't stay so long in this business without picking up a couple of tricks. Pocket sand. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I better go back to work before a trail goes cold. Please come again. Are you done? Yeah. Okay then, I want you here tomorrow at 8pm. No working beforehand. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dressed in your absolute best. We're having a party after all. Alright. Where's Gil, by the way? He stored all of your things in his home because of how close it is to the stores. All of our things in his home because of how close it is to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. I see. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, boss. Hold on, wait a bit and I'll go with you. Oh, that's nice. Alright, flawless service bonus. Alrighty. I know this small party is what you needed. Mega Christmas, let's celebrate Santa's resurrection. As the Mega Santa that saved Christmas from the Redmonds? What? Excuse me? A party, huh? Then I'll bring you leftovers. Did I remember to start recording again? Okay, good. Alright, let's check the stuff. Oh, Kira Miki's blog. Mega Christmas is here. Was it Mega Christmas or Mega Christmas? Don't know, don't care. I'm way too used to Christmas, but the mega tradition here in Glitch City is mega comfy. Okay, so it's not a worldwide thing, it's just a Glitch City thing, alright. I know, it's incredibly, I know it's an incredibly absurd name and the holiday isn't less crazy due to its origin, but I find it <laughs> really amazing how Glitch City managed to replace the original festivities. Some places celebrate Christmas eating fried chicken, but here they've outright cha changed the holiday. Well, it's not that different considering they have the same dates, but it's still pretty cool. Whoop, time to got it. You're wow. I, I totally... Lit Stexy at that. Whoop. I gotta go. Time to sign some books. What was I... What was the sentence 
What did it look like while I was saying it? I think I said, time to got to go. Okay, anyway, augmented eye. Yori Yori. Wanna watch it? Anime is for nerds. If you weren't a fan of Yuri, Lowenthal, or Slice of Life shows already, then be prepared to join the Mo Church with this season. This season with the premiere of Yuri Yuri, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. The pals of the popular Danger U forum seem divided, however. It's such obvious. But so there's nothing new from the Dangerous Opinions forum. But we are reading a conversation from it anyway. Remember when anime was about women doing womanly things and beating each other? And beating each beating up on each other? What is this trash? You girls are just haters who hate their lives. I'm going to marry Sheena Sue. Wake me up inside. <laughs> you can catch it every Friday on RSTV. Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? The ones without arm artificial intelligence, mind you? I'm pretty sure Kenyavania went through demilitarization before. Nation of Kenyavania. Approximately 6,000 robot soldiers. All of whom look like the hottest girls around. But, this, but is this a show of quirkiness from the wacky dictator problematic? The dictators from Venezuela or whatever just do what they want. They don't care. Marina Zimmer, 35, told the augmented eye during a street interview. They're all pretty hot though. If I was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing when you can... Oh, whatever, dude. Update 2, spooky, a bit, yeah. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what the deal is. Someone, it looks like someone broke into your house but didn't take anything. But you can't just, you just want to know what it is they took. Was it a prankster or just someone who discovered how to sur subvert the public communication channels in the Willem? or in Lilum. Either way, some reports indicate that Lilum behavior has been rather unusual as of late. Although we can only imagine the confusion they're going through, not the first time. Let's not forget, something similar happened five years ago when Lilum advancement was at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it. Will it happen again? Time will tell. Alrighty. Well... I'm going to keep going this time because I want to see what this mega Christmas party is all about. Sunday, December 25th. Oh jeez, it, it is hot. Good evening. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. Is that the... That's new too. Oh, I keep going by it because I'm stupid. Alright, right after that. We haven't seen that one before, I don't think. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Gil are in your uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. Clothing, I'm being monitored. <laughs> what about the kilt you wore that one time? Oh man. I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. Ah, almost here. You know, there was a time when people greeted each other before saying stuff like that. <laughs> Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Va- Wait. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Man, if it's not a sign that you need to ease up on work, I don't know what is. Shut up, it's become a reflex. 
It'd be funny if later when Jill has another job, she's still just saying welcome to Valhalla, wa just saying stuff to people on the streets. Oh man. Right on like the, not my elbow, but like on the inside of my arm or opposite of my elbow. I have a mosquito bite and it is the worst. Wait, Alma came in here in her usual attire? Why aren't you saying anything to her? Well, she can't really do anything to her. Ribbed sweaters get a free pass. Why? Silly question. Never mind. <laughs>